Hi, I'm Jackie Wilhelm. I am the Director of Children's Ministry at Crossroads Christian Church in St. Matthews. Today, I'd like to share a Bible story from the third and fourth chapters of the book of Acts. Just before this story, Jesus had given the disciples the big job of telling the whole world about him. This was just before he went up to heaven. Then the disciples received the Holy Spirit and they were able to make 3,000 believers in just one day. Their job wasn't finished yet. In today's story, we find that Peter and John decided to keep going even when it got tough. And by tough, I mean they got thrown in jail for doing what Jesus asked them to do. Here's the story. Every day, more and more people chose to believe that Jesus was God's son. These people gathered in homes, sharing their lives and even food with each other. Things got even more interesting when John and Peter decided to go to the temple. You see, every day there was this guy. Somebody would bring him to the temple. They would have to carry him because he couldn't walk. And he went to the temple so that he could beg for money. And as John and Peter walked by, sure enough, he asked them for money. And this is what Peter had to say. I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. That is just what the man did. He literally got up and danced for joy. I bet you can guess what happened next. A crowd gathered. So Peter spoke to them. Why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us? We haven't made this man walk by our own power or godliness. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. He has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. This man whom you see and know was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. You can see it with your own eyes. So turn away from your sins. Turn to God. Then your sins will be wiped away. The religious leaders who heard Peter's speech, yeah, they still didn't get the whole Jesus thing. So they had Peter and John arrested and put in prison. The next day, a group of religious leaders called the Sanhedrin had a meeting and they asked the guards to please bring Peter and John to them. They demanded to know in whose name and under what authority they were performing these miracles. Peter didn't hold back. He told them he was performing these miracles in the name of Jesus. You nailed Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross, but God raised him from the dead it is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed in front of you. That was pretty bold of Peter and John. Apparently, hanging out with Jesus along had made them pretty brave. You know, these guys weren't guys that were trained in scripture. They, they weren't trained in public speaking. But something about hanging out with Jesus made them very bold indeed. Those religious leaders Man, they were mad. They told Peter and John, you'd better never say Jesus' name again. But you know what? Peter and John weren't about to listen to that. This is what they had to say. Judge for yourselves, which is right from God's point of view. Should we obey you or God? There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. The religious leaders couldn't find a reason to keep them in prison, so they let them go. I mean, after all, the guy who had been healed was standing right there in front of them. So they freed Peter and John, and Peter and John continued to share the good news of Jesus. Through the power of God's Spirit and all that they told everybody about Jesus and the miracles that they did, the word about Jesus continued to spread, and the number of believers grew to, are you ready for this? 5,000! Being arrested in jail had to be pretty scary for Peter and John, but you know, they didn't quit telling people about Jesus. 
They knew they had to finish what they started. Remember what they said. There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. That just shows you how determined these two men were to tell everybody about Jesus. Remember, determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Peter and John could make the wise choice to keep going because they knew God was with them. And God is with us too. This month's memory verse will help us remember to keep going even when things get tough. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6.9 that's all for this week's Bible story. Please join me again next week. Goodbye.